Sitting neglected in a freezer at a laboratory in Sweden is an anti-cancer treatment that could potentially help thousands. I've come together with a number of other people to try and raise the money to get this treatment out of the freezer and trialled in human patients. Uh, we have developed a virus for neuroendocrine tumours that proved to be really effective in, in eradicating tumours in mice. It is now time to test it in humans to see if it can have the same effect on cancer patients. Your funding here is absolutely essential to get this clinical trial going. Uh, if we don't get the money, there is a risk that the virus will be left in the freezer. The reason this virus is lying neglected in the freezer in Sweden is because no business will invest in it. There's no profit to be made out of it by getting it into human trials at this stage. But we want to put people before profit. And we think if we can raise the money for it, we can get it into human trials and then eventually into the market where it can help people. So these anti-cancer viruses can tackle neuroendocrine tumours both by directly infecting and killing the cancer cells but not normal cells and also by stimulating an immune response in your own body to attack the tumour. This research is very important because it's testing a new type of treatment with these anti-cancer viruses in an important disease which otherwise does not have a very high profile. In the long term this research could potentially help many thousands of people with cancer if these anti-cancer viruses prove to be of benefit both in neuroendocrine tumours and potentially other cancers as well. I first found out about neuroendocrine tumours when my friend Dido was diagnosed with the disease several years ago. And a couple of weeks ago, I wrote about it in The Telegraph. When I read Alexander's piece in The Telegraph, it was fascinating for me because I was recently diagnosed with the same cancer. And I decided that I would tell my story in The Telegraph too. When my article went live on that Saturday, my iPhone went ballistic with tweets. Every 30 seconds it would buzz. Someone would be asking me, can we help? Can we send money? What can we do? The time is right now for this campaign. Uh, it's the anniversary of Steve Jobs' death. He died from the same tumour. Um, and he's the sort of guy that would work around problems. He didn't let things get in his way and we don't want to let things get in our way. We want to do this directly with you directly helping those people uh, in Sweden to research this virus. We've put this campaign together in just over a week and everybody who's working on it has volunteered their time for free. So there's no slogan, there's no wristband and there's certainly no rock concert. Every penny that you donate goes direct to the research lab in Sweden. This project is about people coming together who want to make a difference. So a fundraising campaign like this could be absolutely critical in helping to get research from the bench to the bedside and actually translate scientific findings into real help for patients. When I first found out about this virus, I thought it was too good to be true. But the more research I did, the more I realised there was a global community of scientists and doctors working in this field. What we need to do is connect that global community with the people who care, the people who want to make this happen. Technologies and social media have fueled a seismic shift in how people around the world share information, collaborate and work together in an open and cooperative way. And that's exactly what Professor Essend has done with his anti-cancer virus. He's made it open source, he's shared the data and the findings with the scientific community. And it's that spirit that we want to continue with our crowdfunding campaign. We want to collaborate with you to help us share and spread this message as far and wide as we possibly can. Social media makes this possible. We can bypass all the bureaucracy. We can cut that out. We can fund this. Together, we can do it. This is a story for all of us. Help us by sharing it on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter. If you meet someone in the supermarket you know, share it with them and make a donation. For as little as a pound, together, we could change the course of medical history.